Welcome to a new video. Today, we will introduce to you the most powerful hidden tool you can find on YouTube. You can use it to create an unlimited number of dot-to-dot -dot books and sell them in any online store. You won't need any paid monthly subscriptions. This script provides the quality and professionalism you need, allowing you to convert any image into a dot-to-dot -dot image, no matter how complex it is. We will explain how it works and go through all the settings and tools available in this secret script, as well as how to use it. So, make sure to watch the video until the end to learn all the details. And now, without further delay, let's get started with the details right away. You will find the script link below the video. After downloading it, you will get a compressed file like this. Extract the file, then open the folder, and you will find the script inside. Double-click it to open it using any web browser you use. After opening it, this interface will appear. First, you need to upload the image you want to convert into a dot-to-dot -dot image by clicking the Upload Image button. For example, I will choose this image, and as you can see, the image has been added to the script. You can now click the Preview button to view the image in its original format. If you click it again, the image will be converted back to gray format, which is the format the script uses to make image processing and analysis easier, as well as to ensure clearer visibility. Using the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out of the image to work on it more effectively. You can also do this by clicking the plus or minus buttons at the top. Here you also have the reset button. When you click it, the image will return to its original size. First, we will explain the standard method you can use to add dots to the image. Simply press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, then use the mouse to click anywhere on the image. A dot will be added exactly where you click. For example, I will create 11 dots. When you finish adding the dots, double-click to close the dot path. After that, you can control each dot and its corresponding number and drag them to any position you find suitable within the image simply by clicking on the number or the dot and dragging it with the mouse. If you press the Alt key again and then click anywhere inside the path you created, a new dot will be added within that path exactly at the position where you clicked. I will click here as an example to add a dot between dot number 3 and dot number 4. Now we will explain another very important feature in the script, which is the restart numbering on close option. For example, if you create another dot path in a different area of the image, this option allows you to control whether the numbering will start again from one or continue numbering from the end of the previous path. As you can see, since the previous path ended at dot number 13 and the restart numbering on close option is disabled, when I added a new dot, the numbering continued and the dot was labeled 14. However, if I enable the restart numbering on close option, the numbering will start again from 1 and you will notice that the dot number changes to 1. I will continue drawing the path and then close it. Then I adjust the dot numbers and drag them to the positions where I want them to be. After that, I will disable the restart numbering on close option, and as you can see, the numbering has been reset to continue from the previous path. If I enable it again, the numbering will return to starting from 1. Through the side panel, you can control many important features. You can show or hide the numbers, Show or hide the lines that connect each dot to the next. And also completely hide or show the dots themselves. There is also the preview option we explained at the beginning of the video, which allows you to preview the image before downloading it. In addition, you can control the size of the dots and the size of the numbers, adjusting them to any size you want. For example, I will increase the size of the numbers using this option. After that, I can adjust the position of the numbers and move them to any place I find suitable within the image. I will reduce the size again. Then I will select the arrow tool, which allows you to select a group of dots in order to delete them. 
I will choose it, then select all the dots I added and press the delete key on the keyboard. As you can see, all the dots I added have been deleted. Now, we will explain the most powerful tool in the script, which is the select tool. This tool allows you to select any part of the image in order to convert it into a dot-to-dot -dot image. After activating the tool, move the mouse cursor over the image. As you can see, I can select any part of the image to work on. Just move the mouse cursor to any area you want within the image. When you select the Select tool or any other tool and want to move around the image after zooming in, simply hold down the Shift key and drag with the mouse to navigate to any area within the image. Here you can control threshold detection. The higher the threshold value, the smaller the areas selected within the image, and the lower the value, the larger the areas that will be selected. I will slightly reduce the threshold value, and as you can see, I can now select larger areas in the image at once. When you click on any area, it will turn blue, which means that the area has been selected. To select multiple different areas in the image, go to this option and choose Add to Selection, then return to the image and click on the areas you want to select. Multiple areas will be selected together. To remove the selection from all areas, click the Clear Selection button. I will select this area as an example. Then go to the Max Points for Conversion option, which represents the number of points you want to add to the selected area. Set the number of points according to what best suits the area you selected. Also, adjust the distance between the points using the point spacing parameter. I will set the values for Max Points for Conversion and Point Spacing as I see fit. I think this value is suitable for the explanation. I selected 15 points with a spacing of 39 between each point. I can increase the number of points to 18, and as you can see, I now have 18 points on the path I selected. I will also reduce the spacing between them. I will also show the line that connects each dot to the next as we will need it. After drawing the dots, you can manually add or remove points from the path yourself. Simply press the Alt key and click anywhere inside the path to add points. Notice in this path that the first point starts at the bottom, and the last point, which is point 20, is at the top. If you want the opposite, so that point 1 starts at the top and point 20 is at the bottom, simply click the Reverse Path button. After finishing adjusting all the settings, click on Convert Selection to Path to complete the process and successfully create the dot path. I will remove the lines that connect each dot to the next. Now, after adding the dots, it's time to use the Eraser tool, which allows you to delete anything inside the image. I will select it then click on Preview to see the image more clearly, and then remove this part of the image so we can obtain a dot path that can be followed. You can apply this step to any part of the image or to the entire image. As you can see, we have obtained a precise path that can be followed to redraw the missing part of the image. To make the process more precise or to undo steps, use the Restore tool. This tool allows you to restore the part that you deleted. For greater precision, reduce the tool size, whether Eraser or Restore, using the side panel. So, to avoid making the video any longer, I will stop here. Now the final step is to download your image ready for use, either in SVG or PNG format. As you can see, this is the final image, displayed in high quality, exactly as it was created. This brings us to the end of the video. 
Don't forget to click the like button and share the video to stay updated with new content. Stay tuned for upcoming videos with surprises and exclusive features. Thank you for watching.